I'm Corey Fromm and I'm a PhD student at LSU in the Department of Entomology. Today I'll be showing you what it looks like in a honeybee colony and we'll be working through a Langstroth hive which is right here. So a Langstroth hive is situated kind of like a file cabinet so here's the lid here and so you would just open it up like so and then there are 10 frames in this box that you can purchase, an eight frame or a 10 frame box. And you just pull out the file or the frame like in the file cabinet. And here is already um, a frame here, which has plastic boarding. The honeybees will build out the comb and they will lay their eggs. The queen will lay her eggs in each of these cells. So one egg her cell and then they will also store honey and pollen al along the edges so they have plenty of food for the winter. So this is my smoker and the smoke will just kind of calm them down so they don't get too angry with us. And I like to just leave the smoker nearby so they get a little bit more of the smoke. And we have two tools here, the brush and the hive tool. As you can see, this box here has just one box and here we have two boxes. So this upper box is called the honey super. So we have a grate to separate the queen from the bottom box where she lives to the honey super. So at the end of spring, um, so into the fall, when they stop collecting honey and uh, pollen, then we will take these frames and we will extract the honey for human consumption, which will be so great on toast and biscuits. So here you can see that because this is a newer hive, they haven't drawn out the comb on the honey super because they've been working really hard at getting lots of honey for their brood box. But you can see that they have drawn out some new virgin comb and they're filling, filling it with honey. And these are all female bees. Your brood box, brood, is just a term to, rec uh, to refer to uh, the eggs or the pupae um, and larvae inside the box. So this is where the queen will live, the honeybees, the workers, and the nurse bees. So the nurse bees will take care of the eggs, the larvae, and the pupae. And when pupae are first emerged, they are the nurse bees. And then after a certain number of weeks, then the nurse bees will become worker bees and they will go out and forage. All of these bees are female. This frame, you can see all of this is honey. And this is capped honey to preserve it until winter. And here is uncapped honey. As they move, you can see all of this is honey. So here is more of that capped honey. And here is the brood right here. So they will lay the eggs into these little cells and then they will turn into larvae and then they will turn into pupae. And then the, the nursing bees will cover the cells to protect the pupae. These large brood, um, cells are called drones and those are the boy bees. Thank you so much for joining me and learning more about honeybees.